Hey everyone, it's Michael from Plant Academy. I want to welcome you back to another Ask Plant Academy video. I've been getting lots of questions recently about how to build good work breakdown structures for construction projects. So I thought in this video, I'll take you through a few sample work breakdown structures for construction projects. And I'll also walk you through what I think is a really good generic work breakdown structure that should be used on most traditional construction projects. But keep watching because I'll also show you where you can download some P6 templates, some of these work breakdown structures that we're covering today. I'll show you how you can download those as templates to use as a starting point to build your own construction projects. Hey, if you're ready, I am too. Let's go. Okay, the first thing I wanna show you here is a document and this comes from the AACE and this is their recommended practice on developing the WBS. And again, there you can see that there's definitely a flavor that we're talking about construction projects here. So a couple things we wanna highlight about this image here. Notice on the left, we have the different levels of the WBS. Okay, so at the very top, we have level zero and that is here they're saying that's the program that can also be the project okay so the project is always at level zero then we come down levels one through five a really good question as we develop our work breakdown structure for construction projects is how deep do we want to go there is a possibility of going too deep too deep will be too detailed but of course it does depend on the breadth and the scope of your project um, I like to go five to six levels deep. If you're doing a major mega build, seven is more likely. Um, but in my experience, I haven't ever seen eight. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist, but I haven't seen it. I like to be at level five for a typical one to two year project. Um, that gives me lots of detail, but not too much. Okay. Now let's look at the structure here. Of course, you understand the concepts behind work breakdown structure that we're taking the work, the scope of the project, and we're breaking it down into smaller and smaller chunks, right? And the question is, how do we do that? There is some intelligence that goes into the right way to do it for construction projects, okay? So we're gonna get to that right now. I'm gonna flip over to Primavera P6 and let's have a look at a couple samples in Primavera P6. Okay, here's the first work breakdown structure we're gonna look at. As you can see, let's talk about how we take the work and we break it down. This is the same work breakdown structure we just saw in the image before. So up at the top, here's our level zero. Sample WBS is our level zero. And next, we're breaking it into building one and building two, okay? So this is the large pieces of work we have you know, building one and building two, which could also be area one, area two, or phase one, phase two. Okay, those also work. And then underneath, we're adding design and then construction. So we're breaking those two apart. We're putting all the design activities in one area. We're putting all the construction activities in another area. Now, if you have to break your design work down further because there's a lot of it in your project, then as you can see, we've broken our design work into the different components. Again, um, architectural, structural steel. So those are getting into sort of my big disciplines and then even smaller work packages underneath. Let's look at construction. I'll just roll design back up. Let's look at construction. Construction, same thing. We've taken construction and we've broken it into our disciplines and then into our sub-disciplines or our work packages. Want to see more examples and grab those free templates? Just click the link below the video.